It does seem like Bitcoin has fallen from grace. Are you still holding on to Bitcoin? Do you still own Bitcoin? Uh, if you only look at the last couple of months, then maybe you could say that. But if you look at it over the last year, it's up several hundred percent. And I suspect most of the different hedge funds and things that are being discussed here at the event aren't up several hundred percent over the last year. So. 20,000 to 6,000 right now. That's a huge uh, decline. Sh shouldn't investors be concerned? It's up about 300 percent from a year ago. So investors that have held for more than a year the should be absolutely The volatility is ecstatic. not helping, though. The volatility is half the fun of the ride. So it's an exciting brand new technology, new to the world. The market cap is still relatively small, so things are just getting started. But today, I'm more bullish about Bitcoin Cash than I have been about Bitcoin Core before it split to the two, because it's actually getting adoption all around the world. More and more merchants are accepting it. It's easier to use. Uh, there's a Bitcoin faucet now at free.bitcoin.com. Anyone anywhere in the world can get 10 cents worth of Bitcoin Cash just like that just by going there. It's amazing. So this is powerful technology. And if you can see that it's useful in commerce, the long run trend is for the price to go up. And yeah, there's a lot of volatility from day to day, but the long run trend is going to continue to be up in regards to Bitcoin Cash because it's useful in commerce. Before we talk about Bitcoin Cash, do you still own Bitcoin? Are you still paying with Bitcoin? Because you were doing that not too long ago. Yeah, so I, I used to do that. Um, like any smart investor, I don't put all of my eggs in one basket. So I still do own some Bitcoin Core, but the vast majority I've converted into Bitcoin Cash because Bitcoin Cash most closely resembles the economic formula that led Bitcoin to become this worldwide phenomenon that it is today. So that you can buy, use it to buy your airline flights and your hotel rooms and all sorts of things online. Bitcoin Cash has all those characteristics. Bitcoin Core no longer does. So that's why I'm incredibly bullish on Bitcoin Cash, not on Bitcoin Core. Okay, so, so Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are finding it hard to gain traction. It's about scalability. That is not happening yet. When do you see that happening? What would it take? To gain traction? I think they are gaining traction. I Scalability. That's the reason why Bitcoin, you, you lost, kind of uh, fell out of love with Bitcoin because of scalability. I think anybody that's paying attention still loves and appreciates my work. And anybody that's been around in Bitcoin from the early days still does. And if you look at it, there was one single Bitcoin last year and there were two different ideological camps. One camp believed that Bitcoin couldn't scale on chain for the entire world to use as money. The other camp believed that it could. And it turns out that they're both right. Bitcoin Core can't scale on chain for it to be money for the entire world. Bitcoin Cash can. And so it's a, it's, it's a mental problem within the heads of the people that believe Bitcoin Core can't scale to be the entire world. And the Bitcoin Cash people have the right attitude. And almost everybody that's involved in Bitcoin Cash are the same people like myself that were involved in Bitcoin from the earliest days. Okay, so Bitcoin Cash is set to fork in May. How do you feel about that? It's great. So people say fork this and fork that. It's just a scary sounding name for a software upgrade. Everybody likes, likes to have their software upgraded because you get more features and can do more things. That's what's about to happen to Bitcoin Cash. So it's going to become even more useful than it is today. But what do you say to people who say that Bitcoin Cash will have the same problems as Bitcoin? Uh, they're, not, they're not paying attention to reality. It's right there, very clear. Bitcoin Cash can scale to be money for the entire world. The only reason Bitcoin Core didn't is because there are a bunch of people that believe that it couldn't. And if you're not willing to try, you never will. If you thought it was impossible for man to fly in an airplane and you never tried, well, guess what? You would be right. But it's the same as true as with Bitcoin Cash here. If you believe that it can become money for the entire world and you actually try to do so, it will. And we're on our way to making that happen. You talked about how volatility is all part of the excitement of it all. When do you see a reversal in the price of cryptocurrencies right now, which basically have had a tremendous tumble? What would it take for that reversal to come? Uh, I think more adoption in commerce is going to lead to a, a higher overall market cap, but you can't predict the day or the hour. Um, I'm in this for the long term. I've been involved in Bitcoin for almost eight years full time now. I'm the CEO of Bitcoin.com. I'm not going to quit tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to quit ever. And so this is a long-term thing. We're, we're witnessing right before our eyes, for the first time in human history, a separation of money and state, where suddenly money is going to be issued by these blockchains and people have choice as to which money they're going to use. And that's a fantastic thing for all of humankind. I'm just wondering, will that be a game changer? Would George Soros, for instance, provide what you're looking for? Because he has given the go-ahead for his fund manager to go ahead and trade Bitcoin. Which source provide the impetus for this acceptance, a widespread acceptance? Of course. The more people that get involved with anything, the more acceptance it has. So the more adoption we can have, the more new people will come and adopt it. And right when we're done with the show here, I would love to set you up with your first Bitcoin wallet if you don't have one already. <laughs> but and Bitcoin of, Cash is the one I'm referring to. Lots of wannabes out there, right? I mean, how do you differentiate between those which will make it and those which will fail? You have to look at the ones that are actually useful in commerce. And Bitcoin Cash... What's the criteria? 
fast, cheap, reliable, uh, safe payments. And Bitcoin Cash has that. Bitcoin Core no longer does. And that's why I support Bitcoin Cash. The challenges that cryptocurrencies face right now would be what? Regulation? Uh, of course, regulatory issues are a big one. But at the end of the day, they're designed so that nobody can actually stop them. They can make it illegal and maybe fewer people will use it. But that doesn't stop the blockchain itself. It keeps on going for. But several banks are grappling with how to regulate, regulate cryptocurrencies. Uh, what would you say to the central bankers? I would say to the central bankers that it's like trying to hold back the tide of the ocean. It's impossible, and you need to embrace it and figure out how you're going to integrate it into whatever it is that you're doing in life. And uh, imagine if you tried to say that only certain people with licenses were allowed to use the Internet or allowed to use email because maybe terrorists will use email to communicate with each other. Well, it's true. Maybe terrorists do use email to communicate with each other. But that doesn't mean that email isn't a wonderful benefit for the entire human, world, uh, human race worldwide. And the same is true of cryptocurrencies.